Good day, this is Mike Olden with Lee Smith. You can reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. Coming out in 2024 is the electric Isuzu. The electric vehicle will go 228 miles. The recharge is using an 80 amp plug-in nestled behind the passenger side. Three different battery packs on this wafer. As you can tell, the max of users coming through into our different battery packs. 12 volt battery on the passenger side. It is dedicated for recharge through an inverter uh, tucked up underneath inside the cab. We'll get to take a look at that later on. Max fuse box is stored behind. Take a look at, you have one, two, three different packs that you can do for extended driving or keeping it local. Take a look at what is driving. This is a 19.5 GVW truck. Is the ZF motor that comes through to our traditional rear axle. So this box is very important. This box is what encapsulates the charge that will go to our system and recapture the reverse calibration as it comes back in into the wafer. This is primarily going to charge the 12 volt battery for the Isuzu EV vehicle. Three different battery packs represent basically 70 miles per battery wafer, depending on how you use it. How does it transfer the power? Well, we have the AC charger. The click plug and then you have the DC charger which will take an 80 amp infusion. The charge will come up and into the power inverter and then be distributed through electronic management to wafer one, two, or three. As you utilize wafers, they are traditionally utilized one, two, then three. On each battery, though they are independent, they are connected. Should you lose a max fuse or is disconnected, it locks the whole system down like a full truck GFI. The power of the truck harness to drive down the road is through the ZF motor. This motor puts at 150 watts and 253 foot-pounds of torque into the rear axle. The regeneration process is mitigated and managed through the recovery as it flows back into the control box to recapture to primarily drive the 12-volt system and then secondarily to come back to the main wafers. The cooling system uses a low mount radiator in front for cooling the heat that is generated by battery storage. You have three different containers on the top. These containers meet different systems of the vehicle. As we take a look at the underside around the electrical conversion components, we're taking and drawing power to drive the air conditioning, to drive the power steering, power steering fluid tucked behind the passenger side. And we take a look at the front with our pump for our parking and taking a look on the opposite side for the conversion process down below. Let's talk about the coolant lines inside the new system. The main drive off of the water pump comes along to circulate, has different divides along the system to go into the battery packs for the cooling of each of the batteries. It also does supply the heating side in the cold inclement weather. So battery nesting comes singular brackets to come up and nestle in the interior of the frame rail. Now they are replaced in series of three as most uh, three panel packs are. The batteries themselves have cylindrical interior batteries which have uh, additional cooling that go around the truck. So let's take a look at how we cool the ZF motor power plant. We've run through the full battery alignment, and now we're talking up and into the engine itself to supply that heating and or cooling to get the most drive that comes through the power of the ZF system. So again, the battery packs themselves are cylindrical batteries, cool routed with coolant on a three panel wafer, three different sets to help expand how you uh, operate the electric vehicle in your area. Again, this is Mike Olden. You can reach me at 423. 618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. You're going to make it a great day. Gentlemen, please welcome the Executive Director of Marketing for Isuzu Commercial Truck of America, Mr. Brian Tobble. Today marks the first time in the history of Isuzu that we've launched a new product within 24 hours in Japan, the United States, and Canada. This is a monumental event in our history, and to underscore its importance, we have very special guests that I'd like to recognize. Please welcome the Director and Senior Managing Executive Officer 
of Isuzu Motors Limited, Mr. Tetsuya Hikimoto. Isuzu Commercial Truck of America, the president of Isuzu Commercial Truck of Canada, and Isuzu Motors Executive Officer, Mr. Sean Skinner. Good morning, everyone, and, and thank you, Brian, uh, especially for not letting the cat out of the bag with all the things we're going to announce here in a few minutes. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen and everyone here, it's our thrill and honor to present to you the 2025 Isuzu N-Series EV, the first electric truck from Isuzu in the United States and Canada. Gentlemen.